Cycling about. Cycling about. Vietnamese people are helpful and generous. We often have people come up to us on the street and offer their assistance. The Vietnamese don't walk anywhere. Instead, they use motorbikes as a replacement for every single step. We rode through seas of motorbikes in many cities. This bike surfing isn't actually as daunting as it looks. Perhaps motorbikes are an indicator of wealth, as we didn't actually see too many impoverished people compared with surrounding countries. My parents came from Australia to visit us. It's been almost two years since we saw them last. They treated us to a week in the mountains visiting both tourist attractions and nature reserves. two weeks thanks to the glorious Matt and Diana who looked after us mind, body and soul and gave Cats back the best chance at recovering. Ali decided to set himself the challenge of racing me from Saigon to Hoi An. I would take the bus while Ali would ride the tandem alone. I gave myself 96 hours to complete 1,000 kilometres which means I would need to average 250 kilometres every day in the mountains with all of our gear. The worst thing were the saddle sores. My bottom was not primed at all for 15 to 20 hours in the saddle every day. Other problems included extreme heat, steep roads and lots of roadworks. Right. 
right back. After covering 660 kilometers in three days, I put in a big 342 kilometer effort over 23 hours to arrive in Hoi An in first place. Vietnam is well set up for tourism. You can visit historical cities, natural landmarks, and maintain your basic comforts everywhere. Come on, Vietnam. Vietnam.